Five Steps of Evaluation and Distance Learning Kirkpatrick's evaluation approach has been traditionally used to evaluate classroom training and teaching, especially in the private, government, and military sectors. It is a straightforward approach that produces usable information for the trainer. The four levels of the approach are designed to obtain answers to commonly asked questions about training. Did they like it? Did they learn? Did they use it? Will it matter? Level 1. Reactions. Did they like it? As the word reactions implies, evaluation at this level measures how participants in the training program feel about the educational activity. Level 2. Did they learn it? At this level, evaluation strategies attempt to determine more than learner satisfaction. Rather, evaluators assess the extent to which learners have advanced in skills, knowledge, and attitude. Level 3. Transfer. Will they use it? At this level, evaluators attempt to determine if the skills, knowledge, and attitudes learned as a result of training are being transferred to the workplace or to actual learning activities. Level 4. Results. Will it matter? Evaluation activities at this level attempt to measure the success of the training or teaching program in terms of increased productivity, improved quality, lower costs, and for businesses, even higher profits. Level 5. Return on investment. Increasingly, many training and educational organizations that are adopting e-learning and distance education are interested in the concept of return on investment. Converting training results from e-learning activities into monetary values and comparing these costs to the cost of the training program to determine a return on their investment. The AEIOU Approach The AEIOU approach is similar to Woodley and Kirkwood's in that it uses quantitative and qualitative methodologies. It has two primary purposes as an evaluation strategy. First, the model provides formative information to the staff about the implementation of their project. Second, it provides summative information about the value of the project and its activities. The AEIOU evaluation process provides a framework for identifying key questions necessary for effective evaluation. Component 1. Accountability. Did the project planners do what they said they were going to? This is the first step in determining the effectiveness of the project or course and is targeted at determining if the project's objectives and activities were being completed. Component number two, effectiveness. How well done was the project? This component of the evaluation process attempts to place some value on the project's activities. Effectiveness questions often focus on participant attitudes and knowledge. Component 3. Impact. Did the project, course, or program make a difference? During this phase of the evaluation, questions focus on identifying the changes that resulted from the project's activities and are tied to the stated outcomes of the project or course. Component 4. Organizational Context. What structures, policies, or events in the organization or environment helped or hindered the project in accomplishing its goals? The focus of this component of the evaluation is on identifying those contextual or environmental factors that contributed to or detracted from the project of course's ability to conduct activities. Component number five, unanticipated consequences of developing new or modified programs, especially in the dynamic field of distance education are a rich source of information about why some projects are successful and others are not.